Let's have a look at the process of creating a new procurement category for expenses and setting up a GL account to have those expenses posted against. So first I'm going to go to procurement and sourcing and then we're going to go and set up a procurement category. We can find this under procurement categories here and so what I'm going to do is set up a new um, option here for example uh, plant watering now to do add a new category here I need to edit the category hierarchy so I can do that up the top here and so this is my hierarchy this is where I need it so I'm going to select the top node for where we want to create something underneath it so once I do that I can add the new category node and so this one is going to be called uh, plant watering for example as a service uh, PW now I can put additional details but that's all we really need in the system so that's our new category created if I come back to our workplace services here we'll have our new category so our category is created now we need to create a GL account that when we use that category it's going to um, post against so I'm going to go across to the general ledger and then I'm going to come across to our chart of accounts accounts and then I can go into our accounts here and one of them is this is the shared chart of accounts that we're using so I'm going to create a new uh, account from here and I can use the template option so I'm going to use it as a, an expense account so here I can fill in the details so in this case 6051162 uh, for example I'm going to say plant watering expense and that's our account created. Now the default proposal is debit. You'll see the category obviously we can change that but that's our account created. Now I need to associate the two together so I need to associate the category to the expense account and I can do that in inventory management. So if I go into inventory management we'll see we have an option here for posting. I can go into the posting setup now in here we can go to the purchase order tab and then we need to select the purchase expenditure for expense and this is where I can specify a new entry here so I'll create a new line or click the new button and in this case I just arrowed down to create a new line and then I can fill in the details so um, I can fill in my workplace services I'll see the categories and this is my plant watering so we'll say OK now this is where we can specify the account so once uh, 605162 was the new account that we created um, and so I can save that so that's the association between the new category and the new account that we created so let's go and have put in a transaction and we'll see the effect of this so I'm going to go to my purchase order preparation workspace and then just say new purchase order and we can specify a vendor account here for example optionally change the site and warehouse and this is our line so this will be our procurement category that we need to specify in the purchase so I can come down and pick our workplace services and pick our plant watering category and so in here we can specify our quantity and let's just say it's um, 178 for example so um, that is our line created so this is the uh, entry so what I'm going to do is I could confirm the purchase order for example so I go to purchase and then hit the confirm button so it's going to confirm in the system and we can see that purchase confirmations purchase uh, posted for example so we can do the receive if we want so I can do product receipt and here I can specify the receipt number that might be provided um, from the supplier whoever carried out that service for example so that's going to post now there's a few ways to do an invoice um, one of them is just to simply post the purchase order here as an invoice so I'm going to hit the button to say generate an invoice 
and we'll see that the invoice comes. I'm going to give it an invoice number and we have the option here. Um, this is already defaulted to the order quantity but it could be the receipt, whatever we need there for, for example. Now matching is set up in this example so what I can do is on my review have a look at the matching details and so in this particular case obviously we just defaulted from the purchase order so they're going to match so that will be okay. So once we've done that then we can post Now there was something um, to have a look at here. If I go to financials and then distribute amounts, we've posted it, but we want to see that the amount has gone to 605162. Um, so that's the new account that we've created and of course the posting picks it up from that posting sequence. So it's gone to the right account. Um, obviously there's tax related to the supplier for example. Now we can go over to the ledger. So if we go over to the general ledger we can use the accounting source explorer for example and this will give us a chance to look for our account. So 605162 and so this is our account uh, postings so you'll see that this is the posting here for our purchase expenditure and it's the 178. So that's a quick walk through setting up a new expense category in this case using it for purchase orders we did that in uh, procurement and sourcing, um, setting up our procurement categories. We set up the GL account and then the linking is done in your inventory management posting. You'll find that under posting and then the posting settings.